Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 14, and that was the last plate engraved in a nine hour engraving session. And the initial plan was to use the CNC setup, and uh, I've created this magnetic clamp. It's a little bit too much flex in that. It also took a little bit of time to get it squared up. But the plates are that low quality that there's actually a bow, they're slightly convex in nature. So when the machine tool is engraving, it engraves the center but not the edges. You reset the Z height to engrave the edges and it drills through the center. So it's been a loose-loose situation. So a bit of research, I found that these plates are usually held down by a vacuum bed, which we don't have. So in another five minute Friday, what I'll probably do is show you this vacuum plate that I actually manufactured. After all that was said and done, we got the cycle time down to about eight minutes. Now with 200, it was just too long. So we've been really up against it and we've ended up settling for a laser engraving system. Now, this again hasn't been simple and we've ended up having to get a special spray which is 108 pounds per tin and we only had two plates to practice on so we could make no more than two mistakes out of 200 so one percent failure rate on a process we've never tried before so this week has been fun and games um, we've got there in the end though we've got a really good finish i think the continuity of this video is going to be all over the place so bear with us and hopefully you'll see quite an interesting technique. So I've just sprayed 200 of these and at 108 pounds a can I was pretty nervous and there's virtually nothing left so I've absolutely fluked it, it's exactly the right amount so we just need to get on and laser etch these things now and I've got four that I can make a mistake on. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. So this was the first effort, which ended up being a bit of a rastering process. So we learned the lesson and changed the lines over to vectors. And in particular, we used a vector font, which is dedicated to CNC engraving. Here we are setting up the, uh, the laser focus, and then we're doing our first test run, which just about worked out. Right, moment of truth, it looks pretty good. Apparently this stuff wipes off and text is good, logo is not so clever. So we need to up the power on the logo and maybe do two passes. So this is just a quick look at the software. Um, I've imported this from AutoCAD. Now a couple of weeks ago I looked at changing a vector graphic to a DXF which I hoped I was going to run through HSM works. Um, as it turned out, that didn't happen, so I'm going to run it through this frankly awful laser cutting software. Um, when it comes in, we see these red arrows, and that's a toolpath. And in its sort of default format, the lines are all over the place. It's a really inefficient path. It could cut a bit here, then up here, and then it will raster one particular part and then cut another part. So what we have to do is use a tool called Join Lines, and just notice the arrows here. If we go Tool, Join Lines we get a much clearer path. And then what I'd hope to do was maybe set up some kind of macro and import all the names of the awards from uh, an Excel document that I've got. Again, this software isn't clever enough to do it, sadly. So it's been a, a case of manually creating all of the text. So we settled on 100 power on a 50 watt laser and 45 speed, it worked out all right. But this is just a quick overview of my workflow and it had to be efficient because there was 200 to do and we end up getting through this in just a little over nine hours and the final result was absolutely stunning the best way to get this stuff off is just with a little water uh, thankfully we dedicated that job to our marketing team and so they've done that but an absolutely fantastic finish and the sir mark is to be recommended so that's what 200 trophies looks like it was really quite a bit of work but worth it in the end so if you like these videos and you want to see more laser engraving 3d printing and machining then please subscribe like and comment and we'll see you next week